With a call for peace, local clergies stand in solidarity to ask for a ceasefire in the Middle East. 23 News reporter Sydney Stoffregan was at a rally by the clergy earlier today. They say the taking of innocent lives must stop. The cancellation of Christmas celebrations in Bethlehem prompted religious leaders in Winnebago County to speak out, urging others to join them in their call for peace. They say the more we as a country stay connected, the stronger we will be. Shake us awake! Oh, some of us are still left. Thousands of miles from the front lines, local clergy step into the debate over the war between Israel and Hamas. They want others to join their call for peace during the season of giving. The greatest gift, the greatest present that we could give to Palestinian boys and girls, uh, to Israeli boys and girls, is a safe place to grow up, uh, to be able to live uh, their entire lives out. Clergy members say we should treat our neighbors as ourselves. Pastor Lisa Lopez Myers with the First Presbyterian Church in Winnebago encourages the community to speak up for those who are suffering. She admits it can be hard to talk to people from different backgrounds, but the more you get to know your neighbors, the easier it is to support them. Tears express more readily what many in my congregation are feeling. Um, and I feel the responsibility for our involvement. As Christians who are here, we have to say, let's stop. More than 1,000 people in Israel and 20,000 Palestinians have died in Gaza. Pastor Stephen Bowie of Third Presbyterian in Rockford says no one has the perfect solution to end the war, but we can pray and hope. People are all related, and families fight, and this is a horrible fight. Every day, real people are, are finding their lives ending. Have a heart for them. Have a heart for every person that's lost their life in this conflict. Pastor Stephen Bowie encourages the community to reach out to local representatives and senators for support in calling for ceasefire. He says love is one of the greatest gifts everyone should receive this year. Thank you, Sydney. The death toll in Gaza is expected to rise with nearly 7,000 people labeled missing. The Gaza Health Ministry says at least 70% of those killed are women and children.